Hey everyone, today I want to talk about seven signs and symptoms of a pinched nerve in your neck. Now, one of the things that we need to do is just get you oriented with uh, the neck and the back and how it all functions and works. So, this is the front of the face, back of the head, this is where the throat is, and the back of the neck is here, back of the upper back is here, and the low back is down here. Notice that we have this slight inward curve here at the neck, um, and that is how it should look right like this, okay? Now, if you take a peek, you will notice that we have vertebrae, okay? The vertebrae are the bodies of the bones that help to hold up our spine, and in between each one is a disc, and that disc is like a shock absorber, and it also helps to make space, all right? And I'll talk about that space in just a second. The spinal cord goes down the canal all the way down, and then as you can see, these yellow nerves here that come off that spinal cord come through these little holes on each side. They're called foramen. Those holes are made up of semicircles from the bottom vertebrae and the top vertebrae, and as the vertebrae get closer together, the hole gets smaller, correct? And that nerve has to come through that hole as you can see right over here. And it's a very tight squeeze compared to the lower back. All right, so the nerve comes out and there are several things that can take up space in that hole around that nerve, which could be a herniated disc. So this disc material could push out the back and fill that space where the hole is. The hole could be getting smaller because the disc is getting smaller and therefore it gets compressed and kind of guillotined off. And then these joints in the back can also develop spurs that fill that hole also and can cause some irritation. Um, there could be some compression on the inside of the spine that causes this nerve to get quote unquote pinched. Um, and when that happens, it can be quite uncomfortable and quite debilitating. And we see a lot of these in many patients and oftentimes it gets misdiagnosed. All right. So some of the signs and symptoms of a pinched nerve in your neck would be numbness or um, a loss of sensation down your arm. So you could have, uh, you know, just less sensation in a particular area in your arm. So each nerve controls a different part of your arm. And so that can help us identify where you have a certain numbness, which nerve it might be that is getting compressed. The other thing that can happen is you can have pain that goes down your arm. It can go into your chest, which happens more often than we think. And you can also get pain going down into your shoulder blade. So it doesn't have to be radiating pain just into the arm and into the hand like most people think. Now, sometimes you can also develop weakness. Weakness with your grip. Maybe you have a weakness holding this in this position, holding your wrist up. Maybe you're dropping things. Or maybe you've tried some push-ups and you can't push on one side. Um, that would tell us that it is a certain nerve at a certain level. Um, the other thing we test in the clinic would be reflexes. So we test reflexes at your elbow and at your on the back side of your elbow, the front of your elbow, and on your forearm, okay? And that gives us three different levels. The other thing that can be a sign of a herniated disc in the neck is when you take or pinched nerve is when your neck goes back like this and you're looking up and maybe even if you're looking off to one side that closes that hole on one side and causes more irritation um, and can give you discomfort down your arm your chest or into your shoulder blade people don't typically like to sleep on their backs with their neck like this they like to put some extra pillows under there to help open up that hole one thing uh, you also need to remember about a pinched nerve in the neck is that it is usually one-sided. It rarely, rarely ever goes down both sides. And I've only seen this a couple times in 30 years where it actually goes down both sides. Uh, and that would have to be a very large herniated disc in the back. Um, but typically a pinched nerve in the neck will cause discomfort down one side. Um, so those are the signs and symptoms of a pinched nerve in the neck. I hope that makes sense and that you understand it a little bit better now. Um, so that if you maybe look up and look off to one side and you get discomfort 
hurt down your arm, you might be somewhat suspicious that you have that. Um, or if you have a combination of a loss of sensation, maybe tingling, uh, maybe pain down a certain distribution of your arm, um, you might be somewhat suspicious that that's what you have. And if so, you really need to seek out medical, medical attention um, to have that identified. So hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Thanks.